Products.com has now released its newest refill kit for the HP 934 and 935 cartridges. We're going to demonstrate here how you can fill them, how to install them. Box like this up so you can't accidentally knock your ink over while you're refilling. But we're going to go right through this now. What you're going to do now is the first thing what you want to do is remove the little labels on the cartridge itself. Make sure they're all off of there because if you don't, the ink will not flow into the other side of the cartridge. And anytime you're doing any of this, take your time in filling it. The first time you fill it, it's going to have to saturate into the sponge. Okay, when you remove this, got to make sure when this comes off, there's a tiny air hole right there. Make sure that it's not blocked up or anything because sometimes there's a little uh, like adhesive or glue and you don't want that blocked up. must be totally clear when you're going to fill. Okay, now we're going to begin to fill. fill. Start with the black cartridge. It's the larger cartridge. Just take your time in doing this. There's no rush. Just take one of the syringes here. Just slowly fill. Now what you want to do is, what I do is I'll fill up just a little over the 10 mil mark. And then make sure you place it back in the little thing so you don't make a spill or anything like that. More thing though, make sure that you want to pull the little plug off, a rubber plug there, and have some paper towel and you know make sure you're in a nice area where you're not going to get ink all over the place. Basically, just slow, push in there nice and slow. Get an angle of that. Now this is all pigmented ink, so it's going to take a little bit the first time going into the sponge to saturate it. The key here is to saturate that sponge as much as you can. Now what I do, put that aside for a second, because you're going to do all four at the same time. So what I do is I keep the cap out, because it's, it's secure over there, but kind of set it up on a little angle right there. What that's going to do is gravity's going to take over, and it's going to drip into the back sponge part. Then you just go to the next one, where that's doing that. Again, make sure that the hole is nice and clear there. Go to the yellow. Make sure you have enough room too because it kind of gets cramped in here, but grab your next syringe. Same thing. Right. Slowly push it in there. I go about, about an eighth of an inch to the top there and let it sit. Put that aside. Same thing. You can put your little cap or whatever you have. You can do anything, but I just I do that because it's gonna start to take take over and go all the way down to the back and fill it up. Now we'll do the next color. Okay, now all of them are pretty much on the first phase of the filling. You can see how they're all starting to to uh, head back to the sponge area, and they're all looking pretty good. So now we're gonna go back to the the black one, the first one, what we started with. And you can see it's a thicker cartridge, so you're going to have to maybe fill this up a little bit more, maybe once or twice more. So what we'll do is take your syringe again for the black one, go back to your bottle, and just go ahead and put a little bit more in there. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Is there no exact on their first time? You're just trying to fill this up. Like I said, get as much ink in that back reservoir as you can. And you're going to fill. Stop. Pull it back. Like I said, the first time, the first time is going to be like, takes the longest. But once you'll see, once the saturation is just like this, like in the yellow one, the next time you go to fill, you're just going to fill this right up and you're done. It's going to be really easy. But if we just want that sponge nice and saturated. Now, if you have a problem, or if it's just taking a long time and you got a lot of air pockets, what you do is, this is the little purge tool that, that comes in the kit. And I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate it real quick, but I like to just let it take its time. What you'll do is, over this tiny little air hole that we were talking about before, you're going to put this little tip right over the top of it, kind of coat go right over the top of that. You're going to make a good vacuum, and you're going to see it pull right in. See how it pulls it in? Now what that does, it pulls ink from the reservoir side into the sponge side. And then you can just kind of wipe, wipe that off, have a little... It kind of speeds up the process of a little bit. You really don't have to do that if you just give it an extra, you know, 5-10 minutes. It'll do itself. But, you know, you want to kind of move this thing along. 
So then you go ahead, after you've done that, just go ahead, keep topping it off eventually. You want it to about, like I said, about eighth of an inch, about right there. Then you're going to take your plug. What I like to do is just wipe that off real quick. And go ahead and put the plug, make sure it's nice and flush. All set, it's filled. And you want to do that for each color that we were talking about. See, it'll, it'll actually increase the, the saturation in the sponge. If you have a tiny little bit of white here and there, that's going to be okay because, you know, three quarters of it or more of, more of the sponge is actually saturated with the ink. That should be okay. Um, what you want to do is after you're done refilling, now let me just real quick, if you look at the yellow without using the purge tool, if you just let it sit, it'll actually do it its own work. It'll do it, you know, for you. And then what you're going to do is, like I said, you'll just top them all off once they're all filled. You see it says on there, discard after use. So you get that? Okay. Um, don't don't pay no attention to that. This is just for refilling your ink. So what you want to do is don't wash them out. Just put them in a little Ziploc, a sandwich bag or whatever. And then uh, just keep them for the next time for refilling. When we're done refilling, I'm going to show you how to in put them into the machine. So have some paper towel handy. The uh, original cartridges have already been removed. So right here I'm just going to start with the black cartridge. Take it out of the little clip like this. You probably have a little ink onto the little clip there, but just that's what this is for. Just going to dab it, not a lot, and then insert it into the machine. You want to hear that click noise, just like that. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. Same thing with the yellow. Dab it off. Make sure they're all in. Now I'm also going to explain about the error codes, what you get. Just go done, kind of basically setting itself up. This is the first thing you're going to read. It's going to say non-HP cartridges. Of course they're not because they're ours, so they have our chips on it and our stuff, so it's there's no uh, patent infringement or anything like that. But what you're going to do is just proceed to OK. It's still going to kind of warm up a little bit. Uh, setting itself up here. What I want to do is show you the ink levels. It's a little droplet thing right next to the little phone symbol there. Go ahead and press on that. That's going to show all of your ink levels. Now how this is going to work is you're going to be printing along, printing along, and uh, by the way these are X, actually XL cartridges. So you're going to print along, they're going to go down, they're going to deplete. Um, you're still going to be allowed to print, but eventually what you're trying to get to is actually all the question marks across the top. First, it's going to be an exclamation. It's going to say, you know, your cartridges are low to be replaced. But pay no attention. Just go ahead and, you know, press OK to go on. And eventually, like I said, you'll have all across the board. Now, what you're going to have to do from time to time is manually check, because your ink levels will be all the way down, but you'll manually check your cartridges. Just look at them. If they're, you know, pretty low or whatever, just go ahead and fill them up, top them off, put them back in. You'll be able to print. So what we're going to do right now is go back to the home screen. And we're going to do a nozzle check. How you do that is you just go all the way over here for setup. Scroll up here to let's see here, printer maintenance. And there's a line print head. You never have to do that because the machine already did it for you. It really does nothing. You want to clean the print head. Uh, getting on the cleaning though real quick. You never want to do any more than the three cleans. First of all, you shouldn't have to using the proper ink and everything, so you won't have to do that. But the first one came out, looks really good. All the letters are crisp. You got your your color bars look really, really good. Everything's solid, so I don't need to do a second cleaning. Um, getting back to the refilling the cartridges and everything, we also have a an XL cube system, ink cube system that we make. So basically it'll sit next to the side, it'll feed into the cartridges. So you'll have to worry about basically checking your cartridges all the time because your ink reservoir will be right here. So we make a, a system also for this machine. Um, right now we're done, so click that. Go back to the home screen. That's pretty much your setup right there. Just to show you that the, the printer is operating correctly, good quality. I'm going to just do a color copy right here. Now if you don't know this, you can go into your settings and set your settings for your quality, very important because a lot of times if you have it set to say uh, draft, you're not going to 
get a lot of good uh, quality prints out of there. So what we do is either best or normal. I got mine on, on best right now. And then just go ahead and hit copy, color, and it'll come out. Show you how the quality is coming out here. That, color. So it shows you a good solid fill of the colors. Now if you have the first time you put the cartridges in, you have a little streaking here and there. Like I said, we can go back to the, you can go back to the cleaning. Just do one or two cleanings, maximum three, and you'll you'll be all set.